Hey, Eric. Eric here. Um, first off, I want to say you're just going to have to excuse the glare because I'm sitting in my kitchen right under this lamp and I just don't feel like going to my basement, so deal with it. Um, anyways, tonight is a, um, a tag video, another tag video that I, did, that I have to respond to. Um, I did one a couple videos ago and I, I love doing tag videos. Tag, tag videos are so much fun to me. And tonight I'm going to do one that was a long time coming. My buddy Roger over at Channel Donstar, who I've mentioned two billion times, um, he tagged me months ago in a original versus remake tag where after watching his, he did The Fly. You know, the original Vincent Price movie versus the Jeff Goldblum remake. You know, the one directed by David Cronenberg. And he talked about the two films and basically compared them and said which one he preferred. So I'm going to do that. Um, usually when people talk about remakes, they talk about, like, the horror genre. And that was, like, the simple go-to one. You know, the go-to category. And I didn't want to do that. So tonight, I thought it would be interesting. And I have recently rewatched both of these films. I'm going to compare Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory to the remake Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, the original came out in 1971, obviously starring Gene Wilder and Jack Elbertson, and the remake came out in 2005, starring Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter, Christopher Lee's in it for a little bit, Deep Roy. Um, and Missy Pyle, and um, <coughs> directed by Tim Burton. Now, I didn't know how I was going to do this necessarily, so I decided I'm going to think of categories of you know certain parts of both films, and just compare you know the two categories, and overall think of what you know I prefer. So here we go, Willy Wonka. Versus Charlie. Uh, first category I'm thinking about is obviously Willy Wonka. Which Willy Wonka do I prefer? And Gene Wilder in this, I love him. He's very sarcastic. Um, he's very loving in parts with Charlie. Um, he's very, he, you know, he's got a sense of magic to him. You don't know what he's going to do next. Mysterious. Um... I love when like the kids are causing trouble and he knows that something bad's going to happen. He's he is just nonchalantly saying, No, don't, stop, that's horrible. Um just the way he works with the kids is really good and you could tell that he's just annoyed by them. He he knows what's going to happen and he knows that, you know what, kids, you're gonna screw up. There's nothing I can do. Um Johnny Depp. Interesting take on uh, Willie. Um, more mis I don't know if he's more mysterious than he, uh, Gene Wilder's character is. He's a hell of a lot weirder, just by the look alone, with you know the pale skin and the haircut. Um, I like. I do enjoy his performance. I do like how again he he he's kind of like Gene Wilder in the fact that he doesn't like the children. He knows that they're you know, mischievous. He's more, Johnny Depp's uh, Willie is more upfront about it. You know, when the kids introduce themselves, he looks at them and says, I don't care. Um, he's more childlike, not in an innocent way, but just as a performance way. Um, yeah, it's really hard to describe. It's a very interesting take on Willie Wonka. He, he, in some parts, he's pretty wooden. Um, it's not his best performance. Um, I'm going to give it to Gene Wilder because, like I said, I love the you know the the innocence that you know you can see in him a little bit. Um, yes, he seems to hate the children as well, but he's more funny with his deadpan. Um, and you know, spoilers when Charlie, <laughs> you've both seen the fucking movie. You know the story. Uh, you've seen both the movies, not you've both seen the movies. Anyways, um, when Charlie wins. And you had that little relationship between Willie and Charlie. It's more loving and sweet with Gene Wilder's performance than Johnny Je Johnny Johnny Depp. Jesus, I'm only on my third beard. I'm stuttering. 
the Johnny Depp's relationship with Charlie. Um, st Johnny takes a long time to warm up to to uh, to the Charlie character, and Gene Wilder is like instant, and you can tell, like in their introduction, he cares about Charlie. So I'm gonna give it to Gene Wilder, the original, the Charlie character. Um, original was played by Peter Ostrom. And then we have, in the remake, we have Freddie Highmore. Freddie Highmore um, has now gone on to good things from um, Bates Motel, that TV series. I can't pick between the two. Um, they're both very good at being innocent. This is, you know, this was Peter Ostrom's, I think, only film. And this was one at the beginning of Freddie Highmore's career. Um, they're both great. Fantastic performances. Very different. Um... There's more frustration in Charlie in the original with Peter Ostrom. You know, he, he they're both, you know, from poor town, basically. And you feel sympathetic with Charlie because you see what he goes through. I mean, they're both, you know, they both, both films do a really good job showing how poor the family is. I'm like pinky up, Jesus Christ. Um, and... I think the Peter Ostrom's version is more sympathetic because of just the way he performs. Um, but Freddie Highmore, when you see Freddie Highmore talk about his family and you see how much he loves his family, it's the same way, but he's more serious, he's more stern. It's basically he'll do anything for his family, and I like that as well. It's a, it's a different take a little bit, but both fantastic performances. So it's hard to choose. I can't really pick a favorite. Um, next we have the other kids. Next category. So we got... And they're all the same. We got Augustus, Violet... There's Charlie. Um, what the fuck is her name? What the fuck is her name? What the fuck is her name? Violet, Charlie... There's Mike TV... Veruca, Veruca Salt, Jesus fucking Christ. They're all great at being snot-nosed brats, except for Augustus, he doesn't really have a lot of screen time. And you want them to get their comeuppance. You're like, something's going to happen to these kids, and I can't, bam, fucking wait till it happens. Um, and they're great performances. It's not too over the top. Um, the kids in the remake... There's Mike, Augustus, there's Charlie, Violet, and Baruka. Fucking remember it now. I'm giving the nod to the original because other than, like I said, of Charlie here, and I do enjoy Mike TV in this one. He's more smart. These kids are disgusting. Like, Augustus is just fucking gross. And these two are just really annoying, and I can't stand them. You want them to get their comeuppance, but you also want them to hurry up and just get off the fucking screen. I don't really enjoy the kids other than Charlie and, to an extent, Mike TV in the remake. So, the original gets it. We're going with the family now. Um, I prefer the family, you know, the parents in the original, because they're more smart-assy, they're more full of themselves, but you're like, wow, they do it in a funny way. Um, it's more enjoyable to watch. Here... Just like the kids, you don't really give a shit. I mean, I do enjoy Missy Pyle as Violet's um, mother. Um, but other than that, I don't give a shit about Mike TV's dad. I don't give a shit about Augustus's mom. Um, Veruca, her dad, is just kind of like a smug, I'm better than you type of old man stereotype. He's much more fun in the original. All of them are much more fun in the original. Now, Charlie's family... I gotta give it to the remake because I like Grandpa Joe a lot more in this remake because he's more likable. I mean, in the in the original, he comes off as kind of an asshole. I mean, he's been in bed for 20 fucking years and once Charlie gets the golden ticket and, you know, they get to go into the chocolate factory, he gets out of bed and, you know, acts like, you know, nothing's wrong. Here, Grandpa Joe is very sympathetic. He's very likable. He's very sweet. Um, he looks more like a grandpa here because the actor's older. He just, in this one, he looks just kind of like a dirty old uncle. And 
I love how the other characters, the other grandparents, Grandpa George and Grandma Georgina and Grandma Josephine, they have more of they have more character in in the remake. I mean, Grandpa George is so fucking hilarious in his little quips in this remake. I don't even think he says a goddamn word in the in the original. Um, Grandma Georgina, you know, she's senile and it shows, but she's funny and she's fun. And um, I think Grandma Josephine has a couple words. And I love Charlie's parents more in the original, in the original, in the remake because Helen Bonham Carter and she actually has her. She uh, Charlie's father is in the remake as well. Sweet, nice, close, loving family. And in the original, they're just kind of there. So I like the kids more than in the original. I like the family more, you know, Charlie's family more in the remake. Um, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, the, let's see here, the look, you know, it's Tim Burton, so you know it's gonna, it's gonna be out there, it's gonna be like Beetlejuice or every fucking thing he has done, Edward Scissorhands, they all look the same. So, when they got to the chocolate factory, I'm kind of let down because I've seen it before. The original, of course, it was 1971, but it was all new. It was all it was more creative, I think. Um, just seeing the like the gummy bear trees and you know the mushrooms were with the whipped cream and when Willy Wonka is drinking the honey out of the flower and then eats the flower. In in the in the remake, it's just like you know Nightmare Before Christmas and they're walking around and it just looks. Like every fucking Tim Burton movie. So again, going with the original. Oompa Loompas. In the remake, I'll give it props. Because Deep Roy plays every single Oompa Loompa. And the, the work that this man had to put in to do that is phenomenal. Every Oompa Loompa has different movements. Um, during each song... Um, it's like a big stage number. I mean, he goes from like playing guitar as like an 80s rock band to like swimming around in a pool and this and that. It's very, very creative. So I give him props for that. But the songs are hard to understand. I really have a hard time understanding what the fuck he's trying to say without subtitles. And they're not very catchy songs. Here... Every Oompa Loompa is played by a different actor, which is fine. The songs are catchier. The songs are more fun. Excuse me. You can understand what they're saying. Easy repeat value. Going with the original again. Um, wow. So it seems like you can figure out what I'm going to say. Um, overall, the remake is good. I enjoy it for what it is. Um, it's a different take on the original, obviously. When you remake something, you got to make it your own a little bit. I mean, you can't do a fucking scene-for-scene scene remake. I mean, what's the point of seeing it? I do enjoy a lot of stuff in this film, in this remake. Um, but, in the end, I have to give it to the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Just based on Gene Wilder's fantastic performance catchier songs, a more creative um, chocolate factory. Um, I enjoy the, you know, the appearance of the kids better. I enjoy the kids better. Um, yeah, much more enjoyment from the original. But I do recommend, if you are a fan of the original, to give Tim Burton's a shot. Now, you might end up saying, Eric, you're a fucking asshole. I hated this movie. Why did you recommend it to me? Well, that's what you get for listening to me. But in the end, I'm going to say the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory I prefer over Tim Burton's remake, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, Roger, I hope this was somewhat to your standards. I hope this is what you were looking for. Um, I did enjoy doing it. I did enjoy revisiting both of these films. But, um, got to go with the original. And just because something is remade doesn't mean that the original is always better. I want to say that right there. 
Um, I'm going to tag some people in this. I'm going to tag my buddies Chris and Victoria over at Two Bloggers More. And I'm going to tag a new um, uh, person I have subscribed to lately. He is a longtime subscriber of my channel and I honestly, I feel like an ass, but I didn't know you made videos of your own, so I did not know that I could tag you and stuff. Um, Jay Wilkins, 79, 78, I'll put your your link down below. He, he does really good uh, short, concise movie reviews, and among other things, and I'll put two vloggers more down below. Um, please do what I did. You can either, you know, make it more entertaining than this video, but... Take an original, take a remake, say your, your points, your likes, your dislikes, and then in the end, pick a winner. So, yeah, Jay Wilkins, and I'll put whatever you know number is after you, um, put it down below. Two bloggers more, remake versus original. You're on. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, or don't. Click the bell, or don't. Cheers, and... Got a golden ticket.